here in the Studio 5 kitchen, we say warm and cozy comfort food. It's the name of the game, isn't it? For January meals and menus, Becky Lowe at the Dairy Council of Utah is bringing another idea in celebration of soup season. And Tiffany, our studio coordinator, was just saying this is the type of recipe we all just crave this time oh, of year. A yes. cheesy soup. What are we making exactly? It is a cauliflower cheese soup. Now, it's not Wisconsin cauliflower cheese soup. It is a Utah. We're going so, Utah but, with this. You know, I did copy Zupas on it. <laughs> We're going to give Zupas so credit. Good. Yeah. Everybody loves that soup. In fact, it's one of my favorites. No pressure. No <laughs> pressure. Right. But it's one of my favorites, and it's up there. And Emmy loves it as well. It's actually a vegetable sort of base yeah, soup that is. she'll eat with some cheese on top. <laughs> with cheese on Yeah, it. always. Oh, good. You know, it is so warm and comforting, and it's hearty, and and this is the time that we just love it, and it's simple, and I think that's why it's such a, a Zupa's favorite, because it's so classic, mm -hmm. and it's easy for our home, so we can make it ourselves. I'm excited too. to learn how. Where do we start? All right, let's start over here with onions. No <laughs> Becky's <less>. favorite. <laughs> so what I've done is I've just taken some onions, and I've sautéed them in some butter. Uh -huh. And this is about a half a cup. You know, you could use up to a cup, but you don't want to use too much, because the onion will overpower it. We know and anytime we're... Becky brings onions to a recipe, she's doing us. She has our <laughs> best <laughs> interest in heart, at heart, because Becky doesn't love yeah, onions. I don't. So. Thanks for but the sacrifice. But you know what? I do like it in here. Okay. Okay, and you want to cook it just until it starts to caramelize. You can see where they're starting to turn brown. Uh -huh. Okay, that kind of sweetens it up and makes it a nice taste. Okay, we're going to make a roux, R-O-U-X, mm -hmm. not, <laughs> not roux. <laughs> <laughs> Spelling is important. Yes, it, it is. It distinguishes what we're doing. Okay, so we're just stirring that in, and I'm going to uh, swap out and use a whisk for this. So the flour starts to thicken it up a little bit and yep. give us that soup base. Yep. And then we'll put in some milk and also... Um, because this is a cream soup, and you put in just a little bit. So I'm surprised you you're reaching for in. milk and not cream. Is that well, kind of actually, a... I should say half and half. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it is. Whole milk, half and <laughs> half, or some cream. You know, I'll often mix in the cream with a little bit of the um, milk, and, mm -hmm. and then I have half and half with okay. it. Okay, so we'll just simply put, you can see how, you know, if you put it in all at once, it's going to clump. Mm -hmm. um, but if you gradually add it in, then Ready? it's nice and smooth. Yep. A little bit more? Yep. In fact, at this point, because it's pretty smooth, you can actually add in the rest of it. Here it comes. Okay. Now, the nice thing is that you just bring this back to a boil, mm -hmm. let it simmer uh, for about a minute. Now, the smoothness, the texture is key. So how are we getting that right consistency? Oh, good point, good point, because this has cauliflower. Right. Okay, so I'll also mention, while that is cooking up, we have cooked the cauliflower, and just until tender. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, there's some juice on it, and I use cooking, I mean, uh, chicken broth for it. Okay. And so we'll actually add that back in here. You use so, the chicken broth to cook the cauliflower? Right, okay. right. So about a half a cup to a cup of uh, chicken broth. Okay. Okay, so now here's our roux, our mm -hmm. white sauce, all How ready to go. How do you spell go. roux again? R-O-U-X. <laughs> okay, just making sure. <laughs> Don't let spell check in there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add our cauliflower and that cooking liquid okay. right into our pan. So an extra flavor there with the chicken broth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that cooking liquid, we're not wasting it. Okay, now the next thing is that we want to blend it up because you're right, this is a smooth soup. Emmy is not going to eat that, so no, <laughs> it needs not. to be a little smoother in consistency. So, I like an immersion blender. Okay. And we'll just uh, blend this up. Do you like how I've learned to back up? <laughs> you protect your pretty sparkles. I love that top you're wearing oh, today. Oh, thank you. Okay, so the immersion blender will make it a little bit more of a coarse texture. Mm -hmm. Now, an alternative is that you could use a blender blender. Okay. Okay, blender, but you'd do it in batches, and you would also, um, I learned the hard way early in my cooking career, okay. is that you want to make sure that you have the top off. You know, so there's steam building <laughs> up off? here. Well, the lid, the, oh. the center oh. part. Just I the was center like, part, not the whole what? lid. Okay. You're going to blow it all I'm over I'm glad you clarified, because you know I follow your instructions to a T. That could have been disastrous. You know, that's a good point, because okay. if you leave the whole thing on, there's already steam pressure, and as soon as you turn the blender it on... It would pop. It, yeah, and, and then it's throwing the hot liquid all so over So release you. the pressure, yep. and blend it up. Uh -huh. And you're doing it in batches. Okay. Okay, now another thing is that you are going to have some spit out, and so what I like to do is take that top part, mm -hmm. okay, and just kind of set it off to the side. Got it. Okay, you do that, then it's not going to spit on you quite so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just simply finish blending this up. Speaking of spitting. Yeah, we've got a little spit Josh going on here. Josh wiping behind the camera, wiping out his face. Okay. <laughs> I can see it on that lens. <laughs> <laughs> Any spots on the lens, that's good. All right, so you got the idea that we want to blend this up until smooth. Yeah. In fact, the finished product, you can see what it looks like. It is very nice and smooth. Can we get to the cheese, please? Absolutely. This is my favorite part. You have to have... Real cheese, and you mm -hmm. want strong cheese. 
Um, so we're going to add some cheese in yeah, this. Yeah, I took a pinch it? of that. I was like, well, that's sharp. You went with the sharp <laughs> stuff. You know, the sharp cheese actually will add more flavor to it. Now, normally I like to blend this entire thing up before I add the cheese to it, mm -hmm. but uh, it works this way as well. For the sake of TV, yep. in goes the cheese. Okay, just until it's nice and melted. Now, we're also going to add a little bit of salt. So why don't you grab the salt right there and add approximately a teaspoon. Could you yeah, mix cheeses? A little bit more. Oh, you could. In fact, a jalapeno um, jack or a... a Cheddar mm -hmm. would work well with it. Not as much, you know, just a little bit, just okay. part. Um, if you wanted to use something that's stringy, sometimes with supas, they'll have that string coming up. <laughs> right, which is fine in the comfort of your own home. I actually don't prefer it at a restaurant when you're trying <laughs> right. to, like, shovel food in your face in front of people right. you don't know. <laughs> okay, that's a newer cheese. Okay. Okay, so you're going to have the less stringy, the older the cheese is. Oh, that's good to know. And it's also um, um, more flavorful. So newer cheese gives you the string and the flavor. Correct. Well, no, the, the older gives you the flavor, the new Newer. gives you the string. Got so it. if you want to have fun with it, add the string in. We're also going to add a little bit of um, uh, mustard. Okay. Okay, so do you want to put some mustard in yep. here? About one and a half teaspoons. Okay. Yep, put that in. Great. That's just, that's good. Okay. Okay, and that's it. Love so it. all I have to finish doing with this is blend it up Love and then it. serve it up with a little additional cheese on the top or bacon. some bacon, uh, so with some toast, yeah. yep, some uh, croutons, whatever you'd like. It looks it. amazing. It's our restaurant ripoff recipe of the week. That's a mouthful. At Zupas, it's called the Wisconsin Cauliflower. Here we'll call it the Cheesy Cauliflower Soup by our favorite Becky Lowe. The recipe's on our website. And hey, if you want more great soup recipes, you have an additional resource for us. Oh, yes, yes. Better Homes and Gardens. They came out with an issue. It started in December, and it will be available throughout um, February. But it has a bazillion recipes and ideas and tips with it. So one I would highly recommend that you nice. pick up at the, the stands. That's the official count, a bazillion. <laughs> yeah. A bazillion. <laughs> I'll be looking that up and definitely trying this recipe at home. Emmy, thanks okay. you as well. Becky, Happy New Year. Thank you.